I get it for you? No, I'll get
a lot. But then, how are you going to be able to stay up until 3 and wake up at 5? <laughs> so confusing. Every time I hear it, I sort of feel like I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, maybe we should start issuing bedpans for associates. That would be better. Maybe. Wait, wait, I've got it. I know what would cheer us up. We can invite law school students to come into the offices, right? We can interview them, and then we'll send out the rejection letters before they even leave the office. Uh, you know, that really makes me smile. I feel better already. It's all right. <laughs> Wow. 
insurance. I'm not going to lie to you. You are in a lot of trouble. I know. <laughs> I've read the papers, the Post, the Times, the Wall Street Journal, Reader's Digest. <laughs> I'm telling you, the investors are screaming for blood. The U.S. Attorney's coming after you. The SEC, the AG, the UJA, and a whole bunch of other acronyms. You're in a lot of trouble, dude. But you need the best. Well, that's why I'm here. I want the best. And money is no object, although I must tell you, uh, I'm entitled to a discount generally where I go because I bring in a lot of repeat business. You see, I've got a lot of friends. Uh, most of them are good fellows, and they will come and give you business. But don't worry about that. I want the best. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm sure we've got a lot of attorneys who will fit the bill. Uh, okay. We should meet some of them. Where okay. we should. All right. Here comes one of them now. This is Margie, one of our junior partners. She's a former prosecutor, so she knows how those bastards think. Oh, Margie, meet Ronnie Bambino. Yes, Mr. Bambino, what a pleasure. Margie, Mr. Bambino's thinking about retaining us. Very excited. I'd like for him to meet some of the attorneys who just write him up on his case. What do you think? This could be my chance to finally become an equity partner. Mr. Bambino, I was a prosecutor. I think I know how those bastards think. I'd be perfect for the job, and I really want to represent you. You know, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. It's kind of been a long time since someone as famous as you came to this firm. And God, I really want this job. I so badly want to represent you. Use me. Tell me, what's your secret? 
Well, it all began when I was a young boy, idolizing my father, who was a great attorney. I'm watching Dad do cross-exam. Said, I'll be that man. I'll be that man. Knew every step I saw his plan. <laughs> Said, I'll be that man. I'll be that man. One morning, Dad can't make his trial. I grabbed his briefs that he had shared. I'm so damn scared, so I down a drink. It's not enough. This trial stuff's tough.
and having fun. I mean, lawyers really are fun. But I mean, that is absolutely terrible. And you know another thing, too? You know, I'm a very important guy, man, uh, client. And um, I don't think I need young associates. I want someone in your firm, if you have them, who's an associate and on the cusp of being a partner. Something that will work very, very hard and just for me. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I have a reference. You do? Yes, to someone in your firm that might be perfect for Who is it? Well, I have her name right here. Um, Sammy Mallet. Sammy Mallet. Uh, Sammy's busy. Well, well, I can wait. Uh, here? Uh, I actually, Sammy's not going to be around here very much longer, I'm afraid. Why not? Well, uh, we had a little talk with her earlier today. Let us show you what happened. <laughs> oh, Sammy! Can we see you, please? The partners would like to meet with you. Best of lawyers in town. 
As for the rest, all of them crooks, working their clients and cooking the books. Seldom do you see honest men like me, a gent of good intent who's content to be. Master of the law, holding out the charm, ready with a handshake and an open palm. Tell a saucy tale, make a little stir, ever so appreciate a beaver. Nice to do a friend a favor, it doesn't cost me to be nice. But nothing gets you nothing, everything has got a little price. A master of the law, keeper of the zoo, ready to relieve him of a buck or two. Watering the wine, making up the way, padding their bills till they just cannot be straight. Everybody loves a winner, everybody's a friend. To miss your lay down your load, and tie your tie and rest from the road. If this weighs a ton, lawsuits are curse, but here we strive to lighten your purse. <coughs> Once the client's hooked, his assets are fried, and nothing's overlooked till we're satisfied. Breeze beyond compare, work beyond belief. Try to just a pin to that you're not a thief. Innocent, of course, it was tit for tat. Filling up the argument with this and that. Felonies are more than welcome. Conferences are occupied. A reasonable charge is plus a little extra on the side. Charging for the drafts, make it look like craft. Two percent for looking into this and that. Here a little slice, there a little cut. Thirty percent later when the case is shut. When it comes to fixing prices, there are lots of tricks she knows. How it all increases, all the bits and pieces. Jesus, it's amazing how it grows. Master of the law. Thank <laughs> you. 
creeps. Uh, who do you think I should hire?
think, I think Sammy's right. There will be other cases. We have to just keep on, keep on, keeping on. In fact, I think maybe we should keep Sammy on. What do you think? Great idea. It's true. One of these days, someone will come walking through that door with our next case, and they'll pick me. No, yeah. you're going to pick me. No, me. Wait a second. We know who the real star is here.